Today on The Struggling Guitarist, we're going to learn a rockin' tune, one that, yes, even I can mostly play, No Sleep Till Brooklyn by the Beastie Boys. I'll see you there. Ooh. So today's song is an absolute rock legend. It's a tribute to the 80s, and it is fantastic. I can't wait to play it. Best yet, it's super, super simple. You'll be shocked at how quickly we go through this. This is a great song. Not only do we get to feel good about ourselves for just cruising right through it and jamming along, but we also get to practice our power chords. Super important. I don't know. I don't play them enough. Before we get started, I need to let you know that my guitar has been detuned by half of a step. So the E is now an E flat. The A is now an A flat. The D is a D flat. The G is now a G flat. The B is a B flat. And the E is now an E flat. Now, if you wanted to do this song with the standard tuning, you totally could. It'll sound a little off, but you know what? Enough crunch on your amp and you'll have absolutely no problems. No one will care either way. So No Sleep Till Brooklyn is actually only four chords. Yes, you heard me right, four chords. If you can learn these four chords, you got the whole song down. No problem at all. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. The only real difference is a little bit of timing throughout. It's just how and when they're played. So the last thing I need to note before we get started are these power chords that we talked about in the beginning of the episode. A power chord is the first and the fifth note in a chord. It's neither happy or sad. It's neutral. Granted, the guitar is detuned, so it sounds a little more sinister or down, but like here's a normal G. It's very happy. All of a sudden, you do that with a minor. It sounds much more sinister. This has should be neither. It should be balanced. Now, so normally, I think when we think of a power chord, it's the two finger power chord. That's absolutely fine. Today, I'm going to do the three fingered power chord. I'm going to bring in my pinky and tuck it up under here in this example on the fifth fret on the fourth string here. And what that's doing is it's adding an octave. So in this case, this is a G, G power chord. So this is adding an octave higher, but it's still a G. Both Gs. So what this is going to do for us is it's going to give us a lot of thickness, a beefiness, if, as it were. And this song is all about being heavy, being thick, strong beats, right? It's early rap, but it's mixing that rock element in there. So it's right, it's just super nice and thick. This is going to help accomplish that. So for these power chords, it's going to start with an E power chord. Now remember, I'm playing the three strings here instead of just the two. It starts with an E power chord, then moves to a G power chord. You're up here on the third and the fifth. You're going to go to an A power chord. Don't forget this root note of the A. Whoop, laugh. Then we go on to the B power chord. Now you're on the second fret of the fifth string and the third and fourth string of this fourth fret. And those are the four chords. After that, it just repeats or it gets syncopated differently. That's it. Oh, let's go through them one more time because that is just ridiculously easy. You have the E. You have the G. You have the A and you have the B. And that's it. So let's start into this riff. So remember, it's gonna be those same power chords in basically that same order. So the riff is the hardest part and it's super simple. So you're gonna do two E's. You're gonna shift up to that G. The A to the B, back to the G. And you're going to repeat it. 
you're also going to syncopate it to the song. So we're going to keep it nice and slow just to wrap our heads around it. So it's two E's to the G, A, to the B, to the G. And that's the riff. You're done. This next part is even easier than the riff. You're going to start with two E's. And you're going to count to four. Two, three, four. You're going to count one, two. And on three, you're going to play a B. And on four, you're going to play the G. And you're going to repeat. Two, three, four, one, two. Four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the difference. This is the second time through. You don't do that B into G. We'll do it one more time. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Now, I'll note that if I'm not mistaken, you're going to play this verse three times through, maybe more, but I believe it's three times through. And each time, it's the exact same thing. It just switches up a little. The first time through is exactly the way we just played it. The second time through, it's backwards. So instead, it would be two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two. And then repeat. You see how that was swapped? Then the third time through, it's nothing but those double E's. And two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is it. So now we move on to the chorus. Once again, broken record. Same notes and basically the same order. The syncopation is a little different. This is the section of the song where it's no sleep to Brooklyn. Well, we're gonna play on the off beats and then the three beats at the end. No bong sleep, bong to Brooklyn, dun, dun, dun. No dun sleep, dun to Brooklyn, dun, dun, dun. So it starts with an E. No to the G sleep to Brooklyn. And we're gonna go in A. Right? No. Sleep. To Brooklyn. No. Sleep. To Brooklyn. No. Sleep. To Brooklyn. No. Sleep. To Brooklyn. Now, at the end of that, you'll notice that I played another E power chord there. It's the transition before it goes back into the riff. If you listen to the video or the song, you'll totally hear it. I The one thing I do do there is I do flex the string, I bend it, I give it some zazz, I give it some wobble. I don't know if that's really the way to play it, but in my head, it totally fits the song and it's the way it's gotta be. So you've learned everything there is to learn in the song. So let's go ahead and play this thing. Now, per usual, let's just truncate it down a little bit. There's no reason for you guys to hear me play it the whole way through. You guys can easily do that on your own, and you can do that which in the song, which is much more fun. So why don't we do something easy, like I'll play the riff four times, the verse twice, the riff four times, and then the chorus, we'll do that four times too, because that's just a lot of fun. Then we'll end on that E note that I wobble. So before we get started, I need to get in character for this. Oh, oh. oh. Well, that's better. Let's rock. No sleep till. Three, four, 
One, two, two, three, four, one. So thanks for helping me learn No Sleep to Brooklyn today. This one is just so easy. And the song is so amazing. It's worth learning it just to jam out to. You feel like a rock god, even though you're not doing anything. And you know what? I think there's some good value in not having to struggle through every single thing you play. Sometimes it's nice to just lay back, enjoy it, and feel good about yourself. Anyway, please hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a message. Let me know what I could have done differently, what you'd like to see in the future, and heck, if you have any song requests, put them in there. No guarantees, but I'll do my best. If I can hack away at it, I will. So I'll see you next time on The Struggling Guitarist.